Hello, this is a video response to uh, economist Ashley Hodgson. Uh, Ashley has some very interesting videos on our channel, and uh, this is a response to uh, her data union. Uh, I'll provide a link to her uh, video in the description. A very brief overview of data unions. The idea is the data that you provide to Facebook or Amazon on its own is not very useful. It's much more useful when you have a bunch of users provide their data. So on its own, your data might be very cheap. But if you have millions of users together, then each individual user's data is uh, much more expensive. And the idea is that you can sell your data as a group in bulk. And in that way, uh, everyone would be paid more money that way. Uh, however, I don't really like the solution, how to implement this. Uh, as far as I've seen, the, the, the way that uh, she described the solution is to have government step in and uh, um, force these companies to not be able to collect data and have users only provide that data. And I have a few problems with it. The kind of data that these companies collect, it's usually not your personal data that you usually think about. It's not your name and your address, although they can figure that out. That's not the, the bulk of the data. The bulk of their data is what websites you usually, you usually browse. How long are you on a certain website? What type of content do you look at? Uh, what, uh, what kind of patterns do you go by when you type or when you click somewhere? That kind of data is not something that you might be aware of that you can provide to them. Most of the time, they are the ones that are collecting this data. If they're not collecting it, you wouldn't have it to provide to them. So it wouldn't make sense for you to provide them with this data, only they collect it. Uh, and kind of having the government step in to have them observe the data but not collect it, or observe the data and provide it to you, it, then, then they wouldn't be collecting it in the first place. Uh, if, if they have to give it back to you and have, it, have them rent it from you, like it's, it's overly complicated. But I feel there is a solution to this problem that wouldn't involve the government at all. It's a solution that we kind of currently have, and that is using something like an ad blocker. Currently, ad blockers are very powerful. Not only can they block ads, but they can stop a lot of this data collection from happening. They can stop one website from sending data over to another website. And you can have something like a data blocker that is very selectively choosing which data uh, should be provided to the company and which data shouldn't. Everything that shouldn't be uh, allowed can be anonymized. Browsers currently can completely anonymize the data. So uh, when, when companies make a fingerprint of you to be able to uh, figure out who you are, they use various markers that browsers can change and anonymize. The reason why they usually don't is because this confuses the websites and uh, it might make them uh, force you to log in again because they lost track of who you are and they don't want they want to make sure you're not a bot So We can selectively Provide certain types of data and not others and the idea is that you can potentially have an add-on that via the dem Democratic process all the people that are using this add-on can choose which data 
should they be providing to the websites. And if one add-on uh, has millions of users, they have the leverage to be able to communicate with uh, these companies uh, like Facebook and say, hey, currently you're not receiving this data because we're blocking it. We can provide you with this amount of data if, if you agree to pay all of the users okay, using this uh, add-on some amount of money that can be negotiated. And in that way, the companies would be allowed to collect certain data, whatever that the add-ons permit for certain users when, after getting paid. So I feel this is a much more practical approach than having government involved. Uh, another way to think about this is ad blockers. So if you use an ad blocker, probably your data would be next to useless for most data collection companies because they can't show you any ads. And most of the time your ad blocker is gonna be blocking a lot of their data collection anyway. So it feels as if the users that are willing to get paid for providing some data, it, it, it reminds me of those websites where you get to uh, watch an ad for a certain period of time and then get paid for watching that ad. It's kind of similar, except maybe uh, these uh, like Facebook users that are passively uh, just going through Facebook or, or whatever are more valuable than uh, just the ad watchers. But it, it sounds as if pretty much you're paying users to allow certain ads or allow certain data to go through. It's, it comes down to being that simple. And yeah, it, this seems like a much more practical approach uh, to uh, data unions than having government involved. And it's something that we can do now. Uh, but I think the main problem is uh, just trying to get people who use ad blockers to agree that their ad blocker will be selling their data and that they'll get paid for this. Uh, just being able to orchestrate this is probably the biggest problem. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye.